Well, Tommy, there'll be a lot of frustration uh, tonight. Yeah, I mean, we've lost a football match in, in the end of the day, so... Um, again, I, I was really pleased with the application of the lads. Um, I thought we got the game plan spot on first off, as you'd see from the, from the score at half-time. But I did warn the players, I think this is the best team we faced. Um, and credit to them, I mean, the, the little bits of magic that they, they managed to create in the final third of the pitch, that's the best we've come up against so far. Um, disappointed us to concede four goals, but delighted to score two goals, so it's a bit bittersweet. Um, Again, I, don't, I told the lads I didn't want to say this, but I'll have to say it. it's it's another team that we've played that they probably now sit third in the league. We played first, second, and third in my first four games, so it's been a tough start. But there's lots of positives I think we can take from it. I thought the fans were superb today. I thought they got right behind us, and there was obviously one or two of the decisions I felt we could have possibly gone for us, you know, in, in, in massive times in the game. But they didn't, um, and that tends to happen. You never get rid of the green when you need it. As my old boss used to say, I don't believe in luck, but I believe you need it. And um, that was a bit of it today. I think at, at the crucial moment in the game when Scotty goes through, it's certainly a foul. I don't know if it's in the box or not, but it's certain, from where I am, it's very, very close to it. But it's a foul, so the game should be stopped. And unfortunately, they go to the other end and score. So all of a sudden, we're behind as quickly as we were in front coming out at half time so yeah you probably can tell by my tone and my demeanour that I'm disappointed but I'm not disappointed with the lads so that's the best way I can describe that. They've worked so hard first half and, and yet you forced mistakes out of mm. Knox County and you know you really went for them. Yeah we did I mean like I said we we had them watched <coughs> we thought there was one or two areas we could expose and we did and we scored a goal from exactly that. But I thought the lads came out the traps really, really well. We were, we were intense out of possession, which I haven't seen enough of, um, because we're not a good side out of possession. Um, but then we, were, we showed composure on the ball as well in the first 10 minutes, to the point where we opened them up a couple of times before we scored, and, and then we scored with a really good goal. So, you know, I keep saying, it's all right blaming strikers for not scoring goals, but if you don't service them, then you can't expect them to score goals. And you give him that sort of you know, service, he'll score goals. So I thought he was excellent tonight, big, big Goldie. Um, and we just got to dust ourselves off, change the scenery on Saturday, uh, different competition. I wish it was a league game, if I'm being honest. I want to, I want to get a bit of momentum going, because I think we're very close to spanking somebody. Um, and I'd rather that be in the league than, than anything else. That goal, for gold, will do him the world a good, a league goal. Well, I hope so. I think I hope a lot of people sort of get off his back, if you like. Like I said, I mean, the style of football that he's been part of does not suit him. Now it does because we want to service the guy. You know, he's, he's the guy. He's, he's robust. He's he's big. He's a nuisance. He's technically not bad, but he's but he is a handful. You know, and if you've got a handful, use it. You know, and we need to we need to service him better. We need to give better deliveries in the box to him. It's not about just pumping balls forward to him. That's not what I want. I want balls put into areas where he can either affect a chance on goal himself or create and help other people get chances. So I thought he was excellent again tonight, like I said. Um, and forwards always get judged on goals, and you know, that's just the nature of the beast. But um, how many balls did he head out of our own box today at corners against and free kicks against when he went back? I mean, he, he, he ran his, you know, ran his trolleys off um, and put himself in great positions in the first half for us to be able to go in, you know, winning, uh, leading the game. So, like I said, I've got as much um, in terms of positive thoughts going through my head, but it's just the fact that the scoreline disappoints me. That's all. Everybody will agree with you about the, the, that, that second goal. It should have been a free kick. But the, the manner of the, the, the quick goals you conceded was yeah. concerned. Yeah, I mean, I've mentioned before that I, I think sometimes it's like it's like in the military. If things happen in real time, it's no good turning to the generals and the people who, in the offices, or, or, as in in the side of the pitch, to change it. It's got to happen on a pitch. And I'm not sure we've got enough leadership in on the pitch. Um, I've said that to the lads since I come in. It's up to them to prove me wrong. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to be too critical of them. We're playing against, in my opinion, probably the best team we've played this season, certainly in an attacking sense. Um, they look like they could score at will. I'm sure they will against other teams. So from that point of view, um, 
I'll sort of keep a powder dry on my ultimate description of what whole play, but there's lots of what I re lots of what we did today. I really, really thought, you know, well, fair play to us. We we kept going. We didn't we didn't lie down. I would have been really disappointed to have lost four one. I'm still disappointed to lose four two, but score two goals against North County. It's not a bad effort. Yeah, that, that reaction after going 4-1 down yeah. was just perfect. Brilliant. I mean, I've got to say, the lads who went on um, from the bench gave us an energy and a, <coughs> and a willingness to try and affect the game in a positive manner. Both Ken, Maland and Connor are forward players. Um, there's a, the, the players that we have here seem to be all very similar in their mindset, but again, that's because they've been programmed to play in a certain manner. And we seem to have a lot of certain type of players um, with Connor, Mal, Michael Diassi, um, of the, the ilk that I'm talking about. So it's difficult to get them into certain formations. So we have to play <coughs> possibly in a manner that is a little bit more direct than I'd like it to be. But in the same breath, when we've got the, the, the firepower, the, the size and the, the presence that we have in, in Goldie, um, and the ability of people like Josh Barrett and even Michael Clunan and I playing further up the pitch, I thought, you know, we, we posed a proper threat. So, yeah, I mean, we've got things to work on, obviously. Um, but I said to the lads, they got to dust themselves. We won't be playing Notts County or Chesterfield <coughs> or Halifax every week. We've got to play teams who are going to be a little bit closer to us and that we'll feel, or you guys will feel, it's six points, but it's not, it's three. Um, we haven't got three tonight, but sure as eggs is eggs, we'll be getting three very soon if we play like that. You would prefer a league game on Saturday, but it is the trophy. Will you yeah. experiment at all? Or you... I don't think I've got time to experiment. I think <laughs> I sh we've got to win football games, and I think it's a, it's a habit. You know, if you win football matches, you get into that habit. If you lose football matches, you get into that one. So oh, I'd like to think the lads go home tonight, they'll be absolutely shattered. They will have, they'll have to recover tomorrow, uh, dust themselves down and get in on Thursday and get their heads on for Tunbridge Angels because they'll fancy their chances against us. They, they look, whilst they're not really high in their division, they're only one below us, so they're going to fancy their chances. But uh, we need to go and show the quality we've shown tonight on, the, on you know, in spells. And we've got to work between now and then on, on making us even better defensively. I thought you were excellent first half defensively, I've got to say, but their, their little change, you know, I don't know if you saw it or not, but they, uh, we did. They, we certainly saw it from the side of the pitch. I'm not sure the lads realise what to do about that early in the game in the second half, and that was the turning point. You mentioned about the fans. I don't know if we could remember the fans applauding the players off at half-time and full time <laughs> like they did tonight, so when they appreciate well, it... Well, you know what, fans aren't daft. At the end of the day, they can see when people have given their lot uh, for the shirt, and I think, whilst well, it wasn't our normal colours, <laughs> in fact, it was theirs, yeah. uh, <laughs> You make sure they were, they were our fans, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> no, like, that's all we can ask for them. I mean, I, I stood there. On occasions, you'll see me run down it, out the way because I don't want to speak to people. But I can't, I can't not be pleased with the effort and the and the commitment that everybody to a man has showed me tonight. So, like I said, so maybe you come up against teams that are better than you, and you've got to accept that. Um, but for 45 minutes, we were the better side. As I was concerned because we got we got it right we got it right and everybody to a man didn't do a lot wrong we did little bits wrong early in the second half very quickly the game went away for us from us but that happens when you're playing against clubs the size and the with the capacity that they have and the, you know so at the end of the day it's not a surprise but it's it's something that we need to work and sort of bridge that gap as quickly as we can. I know you said, you said to Nick that you wanted a league game on Saturday, but do you approach this as a league game because of the, the, the importance of winning, not just in the trophy, but having a win, the W next to your name? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I'll always have a W next to my name. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, you're right, you're right. Listen, it doesn't matter if it's a game of Tiddly Winks, we want to win it, and mm. I want to win it, and so they'll want to win it. Mm. Um, it's a competition, we're only in three or four for the whole season, this is one you can win. So from that point of view, we, we're not going to win this league, but we could win that trophy. So, you know, we're not, we're not um, and I'm not being, you know, blase about that, it's a fact. So, yeah, it'll be, like I said, to change the scenery for the players, it's different. But I think, like I said, when players come off, they know whether they've given what they, everything they've given today has been honesty, it's been endeavor, been quality at times. And like you said, the people of Kings Lynn who were here, 
we'll say, do you know what? We can live with that. You know, if, if, they, if they'd laid down and let it go silly with the score, but we didn't. Mm -hmm. No stage, like I said, it 1 1. If we get that, it is a penalty or free kick. We showed we could score a free kick from just at the edge of the box because we did a little bit later. But if it's a penalty, or if there's a stop in the game, if you look what happens, it goes from their goalkeeper to where we're standing and then that way, and then our goal within, I don't know, 15 seconds. So that was the disappointing thing about that. We're all moaning about what's going on over there, and then the goal's going in over there. So that's, that's frustrating more than anything else. But. We'll see, I'll have to have a look at it on the video. I don't want to comment too much on referees because... You're very polite to them when you really walk off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they got hot. Listen, they, and the other thing, you know, at the end of the day, what we say, they've got, they've got a snapshot of it. But I just think if that was at Meadow Lane and it was in front of their home end, mm. I'm quite sure that it probably would have been given as a free kick or a, or a penalty. Yeah, I, like I said, I think it was definitely a foul, I, I think. Absolutely. But if it's inside the box, it's a penalty. If it's not, it's a free kick on the edge of the box. The game stops and the ball doesn't go that way. And that's that's the frustration because that put them in the lead. Whereas it could have put us in the lead. Didn't say it would, but it could. So that, yeah.